First of all, thanks a lot for clicking on my video and I'm sure you are having a fantastic day. Well, in this video, let's start with question. How can you create depth of field in your UI design? And do you even need depth of field in your UI design? I'm going to talk about this. Hi, this is A.B. Abir. Welcome to my channel Design Thinking. Let's get into it. Well, to answer to that question is, yes, you do need depth of field in your UI design. It is much more vital because it gives your user a visual guidance, which is much more realistic to the real world. And they will immediately know that what to do with which element without even understanding or reading uh, the manual of that particular software or particular element. So depth of field creates a visual hierarchy and visual instruction for the user and make it much more easier to interact. So now let's understand the basic concept of depth of field. You can create depth of field by simply emulate the light source. Yes, you can emulate the light source and you can create a basic depth of field in your UI design. So in here, as you can see, this elevated portion has a lighter edge on top and the darker edge on the bottom and this particular section which is an inset section has a darker edge on the top and the lighter edge on the bottom so let's hold that thought and let's go with the first technique in this list and that is applying a shadow a shadow immediately gives your element an elevation as you can see here and you can make the shadow a bit bigger and lighter to make a distance between the background and the element and you can do the opposite uh, make the shadow very smaller and darker uh, to make an impression that the particular element is closer to the background but not in contact you can use this x-axis, y-axis, this blur option as well as this spread option uh, to make the shadow as realistic as possible. But one tip, uh, don't get caught on with the detailing of it because it will kill lots of time in the process. But what I can do, I can give you a pro tip at the end of this video if you watch the full video, how to make a perfect and professional shadow. So now let's move on to the next step in this process you can actually create a depth of field without using a shadow what you can do you can create you can give this particular section a lighter shade something like this just pick me the same color and make it lighter and i'm gonna give the top portion as you can see it definitely looks like an elevation from the base surface let's increase a bit and if you want to do the opposite of it you can do the same let's draw a simple rectangle here and I'm going to make it inset so give it a random color like this and you can give a lighter shade so let's pick this one and make it a bit lighter but not too much and I'm going to make this to bottom it and let's increase it a bit and it will it will definitely look like an inset or inside uh, from the base surface and if you combine this with shadow uh, so for this insert you have to give it a inner shadow and you have to adjust the depthness of it and uh, a bit more opacity to make it a bit more realistic and you can give this elevated element a drop shadow something like this to make it elevated from the section okay now let's move on to the next trick and in this trick I'm not going to use any kind of border or even shadow I'm going to just use color shade to mimic the depth of field it is very simple so 
as you can see this is a bit grayish not a pure white surface it's a bit grayish surface if you want to make something a bit more closer to the user or a bit more distant uh, elevated distant uh, from the base surface you can just make this particular section white something like this and if you want to make an inset or a bit more further uh, from the base surface what you can do is you can make it a bit more darker and as you can see without using any kind of shadow or even border it is already looks like it's an inset and it is a bit more elevated from the base surface so now let's move on to the next trick and it is a bit more simple than the previous ones so i'm not going to use any kind of color shade or shadow or even border so what i i'll do here i'll just place this particular section here with a few text let's put some text here and it is very random by the way So here is our element here and you can just place over some sort of background something like this or on top of another element to make it look like it has a depth in it. So as promised I'm going to show you a pro tip to make a much more realistic shadow. So for that I'm going to observe a real life object. So if we observe the real life shadow, real life shadows have two layers, it's not a single layer thing. So one is a bit more darker and closer to the main object and second one is a bit more further spread out. So if we can apply this to our UI design, it will definitely make the shadow a bit more realistic. So as you can see, I'm going to do the same. And let's make it a bit darker. At the 50% opacity and I'm going to add another drop shadow and it will be a bit farther and a bit more lighter in shade so as you can see it is already looking a bit more realistic than the previous one and obviously you can perfect it and if you give this particular shadow the same color as uh, as the as the object you can actually achieve a bit more opaque like shade or opaque like feel to that particular object and it looks far more professional and looks very cool as well and finally you can do this too so thank you very much if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want more videos like this please subscribe thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video have a nice day